Hello and welcome back. A few weeks ago I showed off this little Arduino and an ESP8266 module um, as being one of the smallest web servers that I had ever used. Um, it turns out you can do a lot smaller than this. Um, a few days ago I got one of these little boxes which is very very nice um, and in that box is an even tinier version of exactly the same thing an ESP8266 module and an Arduino and this thing is so damn tiny but it's full featured in any way it's got 32 kilobytes a flash, it's got two and a half kilobytes of SRAM, it's got loads of I.O., even more than the original Arduino, and this is already made, there's nothing really you need to do to this to use it, and uh, it's called a Arduino Cactus Microboard. It's made by aprbrother.com, and he gave me a sample of this and I'm really really impressed by the size and by the functionality. Um, quite naturally I went ahead and I ported my web server firmware onto this little bugger <laughs> and uh, it turns out that although it's the same ESP and it's uh, basically the same Arduino there were quite a lot of changes that I had to do because this thing only has 8 megahertz instead of the 16 of the Arduino uh, Pro Micro and uh, the ESP on this thing is quite a lot newer than the modules that I had and the firmware was a lot newer and I had to change quite a lot of things to get it running for the first time um, effectively this resulted in the whole system being a lot faster than I had wished for and although the software is uh, now a lot more complicated it hasn't grown that much so you can still fit a lot of of own code on this thing and have a full featured web interface and uh, no, no strings attached all this thing needs is power and um, let's just show it off for now so I have something prepared here which is my own micro with my code on it and I attached a uh, LCD display so you can actually see something happening on there and let's power it up and see what happens here we go Now, as this thing starts up, it boots, it initializes, um, it connects to my Wi-Fi and it immediately downloads uh, the date and the time from an NTP server. So that's the reason why this thing has a pretty much accurate time right now. It is off by two hours because in Germany we have daylight savings. Um, and it doesn't calculate for that yet. This is uh, Greenwich Mean Time. Um, in the background it's actually doing a lot of logging and a lot of uh, diagnostics and it's also downloading a web page every, um, every 30 seconds and if it finds a text in that web page it will display it here and uh, once the IP showing timeout um, has been reached it will display its IP address for the first 30 seconds because otherwise I don't have any idea what its IP address might be without looking at the DHCP server um, as you can see it now downloaded Cactus Micro and it got that off my standard web server so it did a HTTP uh, request and it got a document and from that document it displayed the first 16 characters which is Cactus Micro and that's pretty neat 
Um, once this thing is set up, uh, you still have three or four analog inputs that are still free on the board. You have five or six um, digital IOs. Uh, you need two IOs for a reset function because uh, it will store most of the data that you give it, like access point, name, SSID, um, network password, it'll store those into EEPROM. And if you ever mess that up, uh, you can just pull down one of the I.O. pins and it will um, just ignore that and start with defaults. So you can reset things. In fact, it just makes the EEPROM invalid. So uh, if you if you just reset it then and start it back up again, everything is back to normal. Um, and there will be a second pull down uh, which turns the uh, board into a flasher for the ESP. 8266. Um, I found that very attractive because um, you have to remove the ESP to flash it and all the pins are so small so just leave it on there, turn it into flashing mode and plug it into your PC and flash a new firmware. Um, remove the uh, pin and you're good to go again. So this is all very simple. Um, I'm going to show you the standard web interface. Uh, before that, I'll show you the log output just a bit. So what you're seeing here is uh, the ESP starting up. The Arduino is telling it what the access point is. It'll log in, it'll get the network time information, as you can see. Um, it's 1500 hours 23 minutes on day 3 of the week uh, which is counting by 0 um, Thursday no Thursday yes um, it gets all the information very quickly the whole thing is working very very fast um, let's have a look at the web interface this here's the web interface that I had on the previous version. It is reasonably fast. Um, it still has all the standards that it had before. Um, it comes with its own configuration interface. Um, this is actually the speed that you get when debugging is turned on. Um, if you turn debugging off, it'll be quite a bit faster. Uh, you can read the digital inputs, you can read uh, the analog inputs. Um, you can set them, you could actually change the web interface if you were, for example, building a light bulb and you just want to change one value to turn the bulb on and off or uh, give it some data uh, if you want to turn it on at a special time and the Arduino would get its time from the internet which is pretty neat. Um, so basically this is it. Uh, this code is not on GitHub yet. I still have a lot of debugging to do. Um, it got very large. Um, Currently, um, with the uh, LCD library and the debug code and uh, all the uh, debugging extra, it's currently occupying 27.5 kilobytes of the available 28.6 from the um, Arduino board. So. Um, it's all pretty tight in there right now. There's still about six to seven hundred bytes of SRAM available, so you can still do quite a lot in there. Um, but you would have to turn off some of the debugging. Um, 
Well, I hope you liked this. Thank you for watching and goodbye.